today's mini lesson will focus on topic and main idea. The purpose of the topic and main idea in a passage is the same. They both help to tell what the text is mostly about. This lesson will help you to pinpoint what is different about them. First, let's take a look at topic. The definition is usually a word or two that captures the big idea of a text. Let's take a look at some examples. Dolphins, careers, medicine, marine biology, and polar bears. Notice that the top three are just one word. The bottom two could be one word, like just biology or bears, but we're being a bit more specific with our topic. Now we'll take a look at main idea. Main idea is a complete sentence that tells the big idea about the topic. So topic is just a word or two. Main idea is a complete sentence. So here are some examples for main idea. Dolphins are mammals with unique characteristics. Careers are being introduced in middle schools across the country. Medicine does not treat all illnesses. Polar bears have survived in the tundra because of their many adaptations. Now notice, to make sure that my main idea is a complete sentence, I have a capital letter at the beginning, a period at the end, and I am giving a subject and a verb for every single sentence. So a tip whenever you're writing your own main ideas, whether it's for a paragraph that you've read or for a paragraph that you're writing, start your main idea sentence with the topic then tell the big idea that we learn through the text. So take a look at the first example. I put the topic, which is dolphins, and then I told more about them. Dolphins are mammals with unique characteristics. So if I continue to write a paragraph, I'm going to expect to learn more about those characteristics or maybe also more about what makes them mammals. So now let's practice. We'll be reading aloud a text together. It's a passage, but you can certainly practice this with any magazine article or a different paragraph that you might be reading. So first we'll read it aloud. Then we'll identify the topic of the passage with a buddy. You'll write it down on the mini lesson page of your packet. So if you haven't gotten your packet yet, Please do so now and make sure you're on the first page. In the top right corner, it should say mini lesson. After we've identified the topic, your goal is to identify the main idea by explaining about the topic in a complete sentence. So for this passage, I'm going to read it aloud to you, but if you're reading a passage on your own, feel free to read that out loud with a buddy. You could alternate paragraphs as an idea. Marine animal experts are on a mission. They want to save Hawaiian monk seals from becoming extinct. Extinct means no longer existing. Today, about 1,200 seals live near the northwestern Hawaiian islands. Experts fear that the population will drop in the next five years. The clock is ticking, says scientist Jen Palmer. Experts worry that the seals are not getting enough food. Many of the pups are thin and are not living past their first few years. Scientists are trying to figure out why. Other scientists are monitoring the monk seal's habitat for pollution. A habitat is a place in nature where an animal or a plant lives. Every person takes a very tiny bit of the puzzle and you hoped at some point you put it all together and it makes a pretty clear picture says scientist Charles Littman. So now that we've read that passage, your goal with your buddy is to try to figure out what is the topic. In your packet on the mini lesson page, write a one to two word phrase that captures the big idea. Now here's a tip. If you're reading a passage, you can highlight repeating keywords. So I'm going to show you what to think aloud how I might identify the topic. So I'm going to look back through and see if I can notice any repeating key words. So in the first paragraph, I'm seeing Hawaiian monk seals. 
In the second, I see the word seals repeated, and in the third, and in the last one, monk seals is repeated again. So in my packet for topic, I might either write seals or Hawaiian monk seals. Take a moment to do that now. Next, we're going to ask, what is the main idea of the passage? Write a complete sentence, starting with the topic, that tells what the overall message of the text or the passage is. So a tip, look at the big picture. What is the author mostly trying to teach or tell us about the topic? So take a look at the passage again. As I'm looking through, these two first sentences are really jumping out at me. Marine animal experts are on a mission, and then it tells us what that mission is. They want to save Hawaiian monk seals from becoming extinct. Now, I'm looking through and I'm noticing there are a lot of details that support that main idea that's in the first paragraph. They fear the population will drop, they worry the seals aren't getting enough food, and there is a pollution in the monk seals' habitat. So I'm going to rewrite the main idea in my own words. So if I wrote Hawaiian monk seals as my topic, I might fill in the sentence for the main idea like this. Hawaiian monk seals are in danger of becoming extinct. Or if I started with seals, I might write something like this. Seals may become extinct, but marine animal experts are hoping to save them. Take a moment now to write your own main idea or choose one of the examples that I've written on this video. Make sure to have a capital letter and a period at the end of your main idea sentence. After you've filled out the mini lesson page of your packet for topic and main idea, you're probably wondering what you can do now. So in the rest of your packet, you'll notice that you have a graphic organizer that looks very similar to the one we just worked on. You can start asking, what will the topics be for the pages in your book? Think of these like headings or information that you're trying to teach elementary school students. Next, what will be the main idea for each page? So think, what is the big idea that you want to teach elementary students for each page? Remember, that main idea should be a complete sentence. So what you can do now is work on entering topic and main idea in your packet for the five headings in your nonfiction children's book. Finally, if you're looking for a can-do connection or just something for a little extra challenge or to extend your thinking, for topic, above your topic on each page in your packet, brainstorm a more engaging title for each page. This is what's really going to pop out and make elementary school students want to keep reading. So consider looking at National Geographic magazines for heading examples. You'll notice when some maybe aren't as good, but also you might see which ones are jumping out at you. Also consider using alliteration. Remember, that's repeating letter sounds at the beginning of words near each other. Some of you might think of it as tongue twisters, but it can be really short. Uh, also, for main idea, take a look back at all the different main ideas in your packet. Is your main idea stated in the most clear way? How might you reword the main idea to make it both clear and interesting for elementary school students? So try to ask those two questions on each page for each main idea. You can also begin looking for the facts from your research that connect to each topic or heading. Begin to label and organize these facts. If you do this work now, organizing things, you'll know what you need to collect more information on. Good luck, and if you need to, feel free to review any portion of this video. You can rewind and look at things, you can rewatch it again, or you can pause on a portion of the video if you just want to look at one of the slides. Thanks and have a great day.